Hey everyone, so welcome to my new background. I hope you guys like this. I kind of decided to switch up my room a bit and um, I added this um, nail polish stand. It was DIY, so I did it all by myself. I'm going to be um, writing a blog post on how I did it very soon and you guys have all seen that. Oh, actually, I kind of switched that up a bit too. Um, my jewelry stand and um, I changed the Marilyn Monroe photo and now it's, I put it there for now. I hope everyone's doing really well and um, yeah, I just got back from an event that I'll be blogging about very soon, so stay tuned for that as well. I decided to do two topics in one video. First of all, I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys have been waiting for for quite a while right now. I think it's been like one to two months, which is a bit crazy. And my beautiful sister is holding the light, so I just quickly want to thank her. Sarah, I love you so much. Kiss, hug, both. Okay, yeah, so um, she's holding, <laughs> she's doing an amazing job, the poor thing, I love her so much. Anyway, so I'm going to be answering your questions first, and then I'm going to be ans um, answering, announcing the winners um, to my Girlfriend Magazine giveaway and the brush set giveaway, so that's very exciting, and um, if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you know that um, I added a few brush sets to the giveaway, so basically, I think, I don't even know how many brush sets it kind of started off with, but it's like well over, um, how much is it now? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like six brush sets and two magazines. And, and I was going to give out one magazine, but because you guys were all amazing and you responded so well to the giveaway, I, I, I ended up um, giving away two magazines. But yeah, I'm going to be announcing that at the end of this video. Answering the questions on my Ask Me Anything video, so I'm going to be looking down at my Blackberry. So, okay, the first question. So, Trobosan, um 1020 asked me, I've been thinking about using fake eyelashes, but I'm worried about them hurting my real lashes. <coughs> <laughs> that was Jesse, sorry. Um, eyelashes, but I'm worried about them hurting my real lashes. Could you help me out and tell me if they do damage them? Well, fake eyelashes, I mean, the way you put them on, they, it, do, it does, like, differ um, if they damage or not. Like, obviously, if you take care of your fake eyelashes and um, if you take care of, like, the way that you remove them and apply them, that really has um, a lot to do with it, like, in regards to damaging them or not. But I will be doing a separate video on that, so stay tuned for that on how to apply fake eyelashes. And yep, yeah, so okay, so ST Princess ST1 um, asked me, What is your job and what do you need to study for it? Well, well, my job, I mean, what I do study at university, I do, um, I do a Bachelor of Media in Journalism. So I'm in my last semester actually, so I do graduate from my bachelor's in um, June. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, June or was it September? I think, it's, I think it was June, to be honest. No, no, sorry, it was September, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I graduated in September, and then I'm hoping to get my master's in it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely going to be in the field of media. So as you, can't, as you can tell, I'm clearly obsessed with media. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do go with public relations or social media or just journalism. I'm not quite sure, but um, definitely something in the industry. Okay, and basically what you need to study for it. Okay, so basically that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so that's what I went to, that's what I'm going to university for to kind of, um, yeah, because I love that industry. So if you do want to do what I'm doing, I did do, um, I got into university by doing a Bachelor of Media in Journalism. So yeah, and study for that. So you can study for that if you want to do what I'm doing. Um, okay, so she also asked, what is your job? <laughs> oh, sorry, I already answered that one. She, she's in year 10 and she doesn't know what she wants to do. Please reply. Wait, so basically do whatever you have a passion for, whatever it is. If you want to become a hostess, if you want to become a doctor, if you, if you want to become a lawyer, um, work in retail, whatever it may be, whatever side of the spectrum, honestly follow your heart because there's nothing worse than doing something that you don't like. To get up for, from bed every morning, you have to love what you're doing. You have to have a passion for what you're doing. So basically do something that you absolutely love. So that's my, um, basically my answer to you. Do, do something that you love and you'll get there. And you know it takes patience, so be patient as well. But yeah, good luck and I wish you all the best. Hold my heart, so XX hold my heart, XS, XX asked me, what kind of drugstore makeup do you like to use? You know what, I'm not a very, um, like if I like a makeup product, you know, I do tend to stick to one, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a famous brand or um, like a well-known brand, it does. It can definitely be drugstore. And I'm a big fan of Maybelline. And over here, um, there's a brand called Australis. I'm a big fan of Australis and a very, very big fan of Face of Australia as well. Um, I've been. If you guys watch my um, videos on my makeup tutorials or anything like that, you know that I'm obsessed 
with their um, liquid eyeliner, so I'm a big fan of Face for Australia as well, so I would say that one. Um, <clears throat> regarding brands overseas, like drugstore brands, um, I would have to say Maybelline, um, I'm a big fan of Maybelline, their mascara is also very good. What else? Um, sorry, what else? What else do I like? Revlon, Revlon's also <laughs> Yeah, Revlon's also good. Um, clearly, uh, this whole bottom um, shop, which continues, so there's more to it, that's all Revlon. So I'm a big fan of their nail polish because they dry fast and the color's amazing. I just had it on before. This, this is actually Face of Australia right now. It's amazing. But I definitely had Revlon before and I'm a big fan of their um, nail polishes. Lola Mercask 213. I'll be writing down their names here because I clearly can't pronounce anything right now. Um, they asked me, what subject did you do in senior high school? How was your experience in high school? So, high school. High, I graduated in 2008. Eight, Wow, so four years ago now, that's insane. Um, what did I do? I did um, community and family studies, so CFS. Oh god, it sounds weird just repeating that. Um, I did um, advanced English. I'm a big fan of English, bless you, Jesse. <laughs> and I did. And I did. What did I do? What did I do? I did drama, because um, I'm, I was a big fan of um, acting and I still want to act. <laughs> My sister, I did Armenian. Yes, I did. I did do a language, so I did Armenian, um, which I love studying Armenian, so I can fluently read and write now. Um, I mean, I always could, but I just did that in HSE and speak, obviously. Um, what else did I do? I did one more. I can't remember. I think that's all I did. Um, and you know what? I I wasn't, as I said in my tips to on surviving high school video, I was never considered like a popular student, but I was never considered like, I guess, a loser, which I don't think anyone's a loser in high school, as I always keep mentioning. Um, but you know what? Overall, I had such a fun time and I still really miss high school. So it's really true how they say, you know, once you leave, you really do miss high school because I don't know, I just feel like as much as I, and you, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm obsessed with my university. I love my classes. I actually, like, I literally run to uni with flying colours. <laughs> I'm such a loser. But um, I love going to uni. But, you know, there's something about school and just the environment and how you know everything and you know everyone that, you know, you'll kind of miss. So, I don't know, for any advice on people like high schools, I guess just enjoy every day and have fun with your friends because, you know, I think you will kind of miss us. So, yeah, and just enjoy it every day. C um, J Minx 91 said, how would you describe your style? Um, okay, so how would you describe your style? I would say, I don't know, I'm very into blazers, as you can tell. So, um, not cor corporate, not, not corporate, but like, I don't know, the chic, kind of vintage at the same time as well. Um, you know, I definitely like to wear things that are, things that not everyone kind of wears all the time. Obviously, there's some things that I love that everyone else has as well. Definitely try to, um, wear different things, um, that people will be like, oh, you know, where did you get that from? I don't know, I just, I, I definitely try to wear things that are a bit different, but at the same time, as I said, I like wearing things that everyone else wears as well. Chic, um, vintage, but chic. So yeah, I don't know, it's a bit everywhere. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Comment below, let me know what you think my style is. Goldilocks88 said, what made you want to get into making YouTube videos? Okay, so um, I started YouTube videos a while ago. I think I started in 2009, September 2009, if I'm on the second. And I don't know, like a lot of people kept asking me um, how I did my eyeliner, my liquid eyeliner. Let me see if I could. Not that I was wearing the same liquid eyeliner. Um, in 2009, obviously it's changed up a bit. A lot of people um, asked me how I did my eyeliner. And I guess that's how it kind of started. Um, <laughs> it was a hobby. It was never, never something that I kind of put first priority. Not just, not because I didn't like it, but it was just, I don't know. I just always saw it as a hobby. Yes, my darling it wasn't until my how to become confident video that I actually started you know thinking wow like if you can help one person and that's exactly what I said in my girlfriend magazine interview as well it's so crazy to me how with one video you know you can influence people and I think you know if you have a passion for whatever it is go all for it go all out and um yeah because you never know what's going to happen and I'm so grateful for all my amazing viewers and I really am I truly am so um it's been a crazy journey but yeah um she also asked me, where in Armenia is your family from and why did they leave? Okay, so basically my grandparents are from Yerevan, which is the capital city of, um, of Armenia. 
but because of the you know um, the genocide, sorry, my great grandparents, but because of the genocide and um, you know 1.5 million million Armenians were killed in 1915, um, they basically had to um, fly out of the country, and all the Armenians, so everyone from Armenia, kind of went their own way. Um, so some people went to you know Lebanon, some people flew to Germany, some people flew to England and some people flew to Iran, Iraq, you know, everyone kind of spilled a very bad situation. So basically my um, great-grandparents, they were born in Armenia, but they were fled to Iran just because, you know, it was a, a quick place, the safest getaway, I guess. So um, they're there and that's why they left. So that's why, you know, my mom was brought up in Iran, but um, yeah, she's a, she has an Armenian background. That's why Armenian was my first language and um, I fluently speak, read, write and talk it. <laughs> That makes sense. Drama Queen 0126 said, Well, the first one is, if you could ask, have anything in the world, what would it be? And second, what is the most expensive item you have? Also, what is your favorite brand of makeup? Well, um, okay. Honestly, as cliche as it sounds, and it sounds so like beauty queen-ish, but I would definitely want everyone to be happy and healthy. And, um, you know, as I said, you know, everyone fled to different countries of the world after the Armenian um, genocide. That's why if I could wish for one thing, was a wish or have, I guess same thing. Um, I would want my my like my mom and my dad to be close to their families. In Australia we obviously do have a lot of family members, but um, you know, with my mom and my dad's like immediate family, they're kind of overseas. So I would want them to be happy and I would want them to be here or I don't know if it's something to work out for them to be happy. So I guess that, but I, I honestly do wish everyone to be ha happy and healthy in whatever they're doing in the world. And I truly do mean that, um, as cliche as that sounds, but I really do mean that. So that, and to answer the second question, which was, what is the most expensive item you have? Um, I don't know, I'll probably say my car. Um, I saved it for a long time to buy my car. It was my dream car and, uh, and I worked really hard and, I guess I would say my car is um, one of the most expensive things I have. Okay, so what is your favorite brand of makeup? You know what? Um, I do, I'm a big fan of MAC, but having said that, I definitely love, as I, as I said before, Face of Australia and Maybelline as well. So it's um, d depending on what product we're talking about, I'm a big fan of all, all of those brands. Am I double A X O said? Sam I X O? I want to know what your favorite quote is and where are your favorite places to shop? My favorite quote is, I definitely am a big believer of everything happens for a reason, as you may all know. And um, I would also have to say, and this one by Audrey Hepburn, which I love, um, she said, she fully told me, um, for beautiful eyes, look for the good in others, for beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness, and for poise, walk with knowledge that you are never alone. She also asked me what my favorite place to shop is. You know, I have a variety of places. There's never just one place. Um, I would have to say Bardo Sports Girl. I'm a very big fan of. Or else, um, small boutiques because I feel like their clothing is definitely so so much more unique opposed to you know places that everyone shops at. Frankie Naz one asked me, um, what is the most expensive material possession you have in your life now? Okay. Michael did pass away in 2002 and. Um, I have a necklace which is over there. So I have this necklace that I engraved um, myself with his name on it, and I I think something like that, or something that from my um, my dad's I don't know my dad's like past all the generation that has been passed down to me, or um, my, like one of my uncles, even like his clothes that not that obviously I'm gonna wear, but just to have I guess something like that means the most to me, and um, yeah. So I don't know. I hope that answers your question. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like those, those, all those answers and questions. I feel like I was talking for like an hour and a half. Yeah. So now to the winners. Yay! Um, first of all, I quickly want to say thank you so much for all, the, all of you guys that entered. It really, really, really means so much to me. And I truly do mean that. And, um, you know, once again, being in Girlfriend Magazine was such an honor. That's why I decided to do this giveaway. And thank you so much for entering. So I'm going to put, um, I was, I kind of wrote letters for those two people that, um, Actually, I wrote letters for everyone, but I actually like separate letters for those people that won. So this is one of them. So congratulations. I'm going to put your name below. Congratulations so much. And I hope you enjoy your magazine. I'm going to be sending them out, like shipping them out very soon. And I wrote letters because I'm such a loser. And this is the second one. So congratulations once again. I'm going to put your name below right now. Yay. Um, so you're, you guys got the magazine in the box. So everything was done by... um random.org 
And so, as I said, I'm going to give away five brush sets. So all of these are going to be given away. And also, I wrote um, like a small letter behind each one of them. So yeah, I'm going to be putting your names down below. So congratulations, deal or no deal? No, I'm joking. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. And then congratulations to you too. And lucky last, congratulations. And I hope you guys all um, like the prizes and I hope you enjoyed this giveaway. And um, I'm going to be contacting you guys because I did um, contact a few people and um, about like two, three of them didn't. I didn't get a response back in time soon enough. So I selected a few new people. But, um, but yeah, so I hope you guys all enjoy your brush sets or your magazines or whatever you got or both, if you got both. But yeah, so thank you so much for entering once again. I hope you guys like this giveaway. But yeah, I adore each and every one of you guys. And I hope that my channel gives you a bit of inspiration for whatever it is that you want to do. And good luck with every everything that you do. And I just want to end the note off saying that everyone's beautiful. Just like in my last video. And I really do mean that. And just know you can do whatever you want to do in life. And keep smiling. Bye guys.